Hello, welcome back to Perseverance Yoga. I'm Victoria. We are getting into pigeon stretches today, or otherwise relieving low back pain and sciatica, which is a nerve pain that starts in the piriformis muscle when it gets tight or can even be caused by ruptured discs. So take everything easy with precaution. Um, and that pain shoots from the piriformis all the way down the back of the leg and it can be really uncomfortable. I've experienced it before and a lot of pigeon is really what will help relieve that. I'm not a doctor, so please take everything slow. This is just to help provide relief, but if anything starts to hurt, back out of it. Just take it slow. You know your body best. Um, and again, if, it, if it's something more, if you're experiencing really intense pain, it is best to maybe visit a doctor, a chiropractor even. Um, those can be less expensive than doctors sometimes. They're still kind of a doctor. Anyway, let's get into it. Our first stretch will be coming onto your back in a reclined pigeon pose. Now, if you want a cushion under your head, you can bring a pillow there. I'm gonna keep my cervical spine, my neck long for now without putting any cushion there. Totally fine if you want some cushion. Let's cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Now here we make this figure four, and this is what our pigeon is. Anything that externally rotates the thigh bone, so right now it's externally rotated, it's turning out from your hip. Figure four just means that it makes the shape of the four on your leg. All right, so this might be enough. If it's pretty tight, you might already feel it. If you want a little bit more, you can walk your left heel in towards your booty, and that might help you. If you want even more than that, we'll start to pick up the leg, and you'll interlace the hands behind the left thigh. Now that might be a little too intense. Just gauge with where you're at. And every time we come into a stretch, I know you've heard me say this before, breathe. Your breath is the most important part of the stretch. When you inhale, you're drawing in oxygen to the muscles. They're starting to get a little tighter. And when you exhale, that's when you can really lean into the stretch and open up and relax. Soften your face. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Good, and you'll wanna hold this for a good while. We're gonna go ahead and switch, but if you want some more time here, pause the video. Okay, we'll bring the right foot down. From here, take your, or left foot down, my mistake. From here, take your left hand, cross it over to your right knee, and pull the knee over to your left shoulder. You might even extend the left leg long. So you're pulling the knee to the opposite shoulder and this will help get into that outer hip as well. Nice. Now we start to take that foot down. We bring the other knee back in. Everything's slow and controlled. And we take it to the other side. Turn the left knee out. And then you can walk the right heel in if you need a little more, or maybe hug behind the right thigh. And each side might be a little different. Just be loving to yourself, no judgment. No, oh my goodness, I'm so tight. I can't believe how tight I am because you're working on it. You're doing it right now. You're working on that relief of pain, relief of tension. So any thoughts that come up that are negative or maybe less than loving, we just say, thank you, thought. Not right now. We'll, we'll put you on the back burner. <laughs> or you can leave altogether. How about that? Big breath. Big sigh out. Beautiful. Now take that right foot, put it back down. We'll walk that leg out, catch the left knee, bring it to the right shoulder. 
opposite knee, opposite shoulder, trying to track the leg across the body, getting deep into that piriformis here. And again, if it's painful, just ease out of it a bit. Good, now release, bring both feet flat on the mat. Come over into fetal pose to press yourself up into a seat. Very good, now we're coming into some stretches with your legs in front of you. Keep the knees bent for now. Maybe give the legs a little shooky shake. Nice, now right leg is straight in front. We'll cross the opposite leg over foot flat on the mat, and then we'll hug that leg in towards your belly. So you should feel a deep stretch along the bottom piriformis here as well. Keep the spine tall. This is amazing because it stretches your butt muscle, it stretches the piriformis, and it also stretches your low back. Broad across the shoulders, trying not to round through the shoulders and hunch in, keeping everything pretty open. One more. Good, now start to square back off. Keep the leg as it is, we're just turning the knee out. So now this is a pigeon shape again, but we're coming in for a forward fold. Scoot the hips back a bit, peel, some of the love me out of the way from your tailbone and your sits bones. And then get a nice tall spine and we'll start to hinge forward. Now this is gonna be probably a challenge, especially if you're experiencing that pain regularly. We wanna be gentle with ourselves and just go until you feel sensation. Don't worry too much about how long you're folding or how deep, just go until you feel that Subtle pull, and you can find that relief. Round through the head and totally fold. Nice, a couple more breaths here. Beautiful, start to walk yourself back up. From here, go ahead and take that leg off to the side. So it's still bent at an angle. Lean over to that side, so you're on that hip, and then bend the straight leg. So now you're in this sort of double bend situation. We turn to frame the knee that we bent first and start to fold over that. So both knees are bent, this is called deer pose. And really we're aiming for the belly right over the thigh, heart over the knee. And if you want a little deeper, you can start to twist in that direction a little more. And you might feel a lot here, you also might not feel too much at all, that's totally okay. If you're not feeling anything at all, you can come into a straight leg pigeon pose. Extend the back leg out behind you like so and come down. But since this is dealing with people that might typically have pain, let's keep the knees bent if you're not feeling that you need that extra extension of the leg. And soften your shoulders. Just being gentle with ourselves. This is one of my favorite poses to do whenever I had my piriformis and low back sciatica nerve pain because it was very relaxing, but it also targeted the place I needed relief. I could hang out here for like a full seven minutes if I wanted. <laughs> And maybe you try that. Give yourself extra support under the head. 
A lot of options here. Good, and we'll start to come on up. All right, from here, do your best to bring the knees back together. Come into tabletop pose. Just take the hips side to side. Find a couple cat cows working through any spinal tension you might have. This is always good for exposing the hamstring muscles because when you come into cow, you should feel this subtle expansion of the hamstrings. Good. Now we'll take that same leg that we just folded over and we'll bring it forward into a lizard lunge. This will be the most challenging pose we come into. Slide the back leg back. And just see if you can hang out here for a few breaths. Again, the leg and the thigh is externally rotated away from the body. And you can either stay up here, breathing into it. You can come onto your forearms, breathing into it. Or you can bring the floor up to you with blocks or pillows. Two more breaths. Last one. Beautiful. Now we slowly start to pull the hips back. Good. Let's take that leg back. Tabletop pose. Get a little cat cow going. And we'll find everything on the other side. So scoot. All the props off to the side, hips come down to the left, and we bring the right leg forward and cross the left leg over for a twist, or switch rather. Yeah, like so. We're doing that other side. So the side that you didn't do before. Hug and twist in that direction. Ooh, and yes, this side is much tighter for me probably because I rely on this leg the most. It's my dominant leg. And as you move through transitions, just go slow. As you move through your day, go slow. Your pain in your body is trying to tell you that you need to take a little break and give it some love. I love heating pads for pain. I put them on my back my low hips, if I'm going through my period, <laughs> lovely time of the month, I put them on my belly. Heating pads are one of my favorite things to promote relaxation and pain relief. And don't be scared of ibuprofen. I used to be terrified of chemicals, but sometimes you just need a little bit of inflammation relief. All right, one more breath here, hugging the thigh in towards the belly. Again, we're taking that knee to the opposite shoulder. That's typically a good way to understand how to get some relief is taking the knee to the opposite shoulder. Any pose that puts you there also helps with some relief to the low back. Beautiful, now keep that leg crossed. We're coming into that fold. Scoot the hips back, inhale, tall spine. Exhale, fold over. Just listen to your breath. Last one. Beautiful. Now start to roll back up. Bring both feet flat to the mat. Take that knee that you just hugged in in front and slide the opposite leg behind. Coming into deer pose on the other side or if you need extra stretch, full straight leg pigeon pose. So we twist in the direction of the leg we're folding over. Belly over thigh heart over knee, fold, hands can come onto the floor, forehead comes onto the hands. Mm. 
If you need longer in these poses, again, please feel free to pause the video. If a stretch it is like really doing it for you, pause the video and hang out there for a while. These can all be done for longer durations. These are all yin options. Yin is just a longer way to hold your poses. One more breath. Good work. Now start to walk yourself up. Okay. Push up over the legs, coming into a tabletop variation. Couple extra spinal extensions and flexions. Cat and cow. And then draw your opposite foot forward, right around the hand. And if this is painful, you can skip it, right? Skip anything that doesn't feel good. And then lower down as best as you can. Either forearms stay on your hands or even bring the floor closer to you. And find relief that way. Notice if your jaw is clenching or if your hips are resisting this because of fear of pain. Can you use your breath to find the relief there? And stay with the breath the whole way through. Good. Now we push into the floor to start to drag the hips back. Nicely done. Lean over to one side. Now come to sit back on your heels. <clears throat> Just breathe. We fall into, not fall, but we fold into child's pose. Knees closed here. Knees are closed. So legs together, toes untucked, forehead down. Back of the hands rest next to the thighs, or the feet rather. And just breathe, melt into the floor. <laughs> Send your breath into your low back. Good work. Inhale all the way. Exhale. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Start to push yourself back up. Last little bit before you, I let you go. I just want you to remember that that pigeon is available whether you're standing up. It's available if you're sitting in a chair. You don't have to do this. So just a reminder. You can take this shape, this figure four, anywhere for a little bit of relief from your low back pain. So if you're sitting at work on a desk, you know, you can do this in your chair. Just cross the leg over, maybe a little fold. Yeah. And you can do this standing up in a pigeon chair like so. Hold on to a wall and just sink your hips behind. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. Mwah. <laughs>